Kids Church. You know, since fire started today, I've decided that we're doing Kids Church a little bit differently to normal. I wanted to share a little bit about what's going on with my life in lockdown. Some of my favourite things to do in lockdown is drawing and painting. And I also love going out and enjoying my backyard and lying in the sun when it's sunny. Today it's a bit cloudy. Such a nice day. And I love going for walks. Off for a walk. Forgotten my shoes. And I love spending time with my family. Hi, Dad. What you doing? Hi, Ellie. What do you want? Just hanging out. Um, I'm working. Right. Thanks. Could you kind of leave me to work? Yeah. Okay. Thanks. I wonder what you guys have been up to during this time. Maybe you've been spending time with your family too. Maybe you've been getting up to some fun activities, especially on the weekends when you don't have school. Today, we're going to hear from some of our other leaders. We're going to hear from Trish, James and Christy, and they're going to introduce to you what they've been doing in lockdown. Maybe they're going to introduce some family members. They're going to talk to you about yeah, what they've been enjoying doing in lockdown, and they're super excited to share with you. We miss you guys a whole bunch, and we wish that we could share in person, but it's nice that we can do it online still. Today, we're also going to start our new series. We are going to be going through Acts starting in the school holidays, very exciting, and into next term. So today is a little intro video, but first, Trish is going to pray for us. Wow, hi everyone. Look at this. It's springtime and out in my yard, I don't have to look very far around me to see all the things that I can be thankful for. Have a look here. You can see all the beautiful flowers that are coming out in my yard in springtime. My little budgie called Baxter loves this grevillea and up the back here I love these purple and white flowers and then when you look at my fern just over the back you can see that it's just about to come out and if you look really closely you can see a spider and then you can see the frangipani that I'm looking forward to very, very soon. Well, you know, the same is with Jesus. We can look forward to him coming and we can look forward to the great things that he is going to do. Now we are going to pray and thank Jesus and God for the term that we have just had. Let's bow our heads. Dear God, we thank you for the last term of lockdown. We thank you because we have been able to learn about your great son, Jesus, the risen King. We thank you for Kids Works and for our kids ministry team who have helped to teach us. Thank you that you are always good, always loving and always in control. We are sorry that we don't always follow you and we ask that you will help us on our mission to tell others about your son, Jesus, and his love for us. We thank you that he will heal sickness take away our tears and that when he comes again as king of this world there will be no more pain or suffering in the meantime lord help us to follow jesus to live like jesus and to love like jesus too amen see you soon <laughs> The mission of the risen King Jesus begins from before time began and it goes till the end. In the beginning it was clear to see that God was the King because He's the one who created and rules everything. All things in the sky and the sea and the ground, the plants and the animals with each unique sound. 
Then God created people, both large and both small. It was clear to see that God was the king over all. But people thought, this doesn't seem to be right. Why should God rule us? Let's put up a fight. And so to the king, people said, go away. We'll rule ourselves from now on, from this very day. But ignoring the king led people to fight with each other. And the world God had made, it was now in a bother. When people started ruling themselves, it made God quite sad. His good creation and people had turned out quite bad. But God didn't say, well, you reap what you sow. Instead, he made a great promise that his love he would show. God promised a king who would bring people back. He'd always be perfect. He'd stay right on track. This king would bring healing from sickness and disease, but not all would like him or bow on bended knees. After God's promise, kings would come and they'd go, but each one would fail. They'd be a no-show. Till one day, an angel appeared to a lady. Mary, he said, you'll soon have a baby. This baby will be the king God had promised. Through his life and his death, he'll take the curse far from us. So Jesus, he came and he showed one and all that he was the true king promised of old. He healed the sick and the crippled, the weak and the lame. And his love and his teaching, it brought him great fame. But just like before, people said, this ain't right. I don't want God's king to rule us. Let's put up a fight. And so Jesus the king, they killed on a tree. He died there for you, and he died there for me. So it seemed that the mission would not come to pass, because God's true king, he was meant to last. But just as God promised, so it came to be, Jesus rose back to life. Oh yes, yippee! So Jesus, he showed that the true king he was. And he gave his 11 friends a mission starting with, Because, because I'm the risen king for all eternity, you must now go and tell all people of me. Go near and go far and throughout the whole world. Tell each man and woman, tell each boy and girl. When the Holy Spirit comes, you must go. Tell people, to the risen King Jesus, you all must bow. Though people may try and stop it and tell you to flee, Jesus' mission's unstoppable, as we shall all see. Hey guys, hope you're all doing well. Um, so something that's really been helping me during lockdown is trying to get out of the house as much as possible. So I've been going on lots of walks along Manly Beachfront. And yeah, just trying to clear my head and trying to um, stop myself feeling super clogged up while at home. And a Bible verse that's really been encouraging me comes from the book of John, um, chapter 8, verse 12. And it says, Again, Jesus spoke to them saying, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will not walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. And I feel like in lockdown, this verse has been so encouraging because it's reminding me that even though in lockdown, when things can seem super dark, um, that I can actually look to Jesus to be the light of my life. So I've actually got my guitar here and I'm actually going to sing us a song called My Lighthouse, which you might know. Um, yeah, and it just really talks about how Jesus is um, the lighthouse in our lives, how he can guide us and how he can um, really be with us through our questions and through our doubts. Um, so if you know the song, feel free to sing along. Oh, uh... 
my lighthouse, my lighthouse, shining in the darkness, I will follow you, my lighthouse, my lighthouse, I will trust the promise, you will carry me safe to shore. Hi guys, I hope you're enjoying Fireside. I've got a verse to share with you. I'm a warrior and these are my arrows for my bow and arrow. Oh, look how far they went. I wonder if you know that Psalm 127 verse four says, like arrows in the hands of a warrior so are children born in one's youth that's something that i have been really taking hold of during covid as i get to spend more and more time with my beautiful arrows or children really libby polly and solly i wonder what verse you've been enjoying during lockdown bye hey everyone I'm Stu, in case you've forgotten. It's been ages since we've been able to see each other. And I'm, in, I'm going to let you know a bit about what I've been doing in lockdown. I've been hanging lots with... Stevie! This is my little girl. She is five and a bit months old. And we've been doing lots of hanging out in lockdown. Actually, I think she's now spent more of her life in lockdown than she has out of lockdown. So, we've been uh, getting to know each other pretty well. We've been... Uh, practicing sitting up, practicing using our hands, doing all the stuff that you guys already know how to do because you're all so smart. We've been doing lots of laughing and a bit of crying too. Is that right? Yeah. <laughs> and we've learned some tricks. We can blow raspberries now, which is pretty cool. We'll see if we can do that now. Hey, Stevie. <gasps> yeah. Can you do that? Nah, too camera shy. But we've been having lots of fun together. And uh, hopefully we'll be back together soon and you guys will be able to meet Stevie and she'll be able to meet you. 
And at some point soon, she'll come along to Kids Church as well and be able to hang out with you guys. So that's a bit about what I've been doing in lockdown. Hey kids, so this is uh, Chappie. Oh, he's going to go away. This is Chappie, my little furry lockdown friend. He's new to our family. He looks a little bit like a moo cow. And if he'll let us, let's see if we can see he's got a moustache. And he's called Chappie because he looks like an old mime actor called Charlie Chaplin. Let's see. Chappie. There he is. Look at that cool moustache. Oh, he's very interested in our budgies, which live out the window. Chappie, oh, he's running away. I wonder if you've got any pets that have helped you through lockdown. They're so snuggly and warm and furry, aren't they? I just love it. Bye. How good was it to see what Stu and James and Trish and Christy have been up to? We miss you guys a whole bunch and we'd love to know what you guys have been up to. Maybe get mum or dad to send us a message or a video telling us what you guys have been doing in lockdown. All right, until next week.